Hey guys, Makeup Sai here and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to those that are new. And if you are new, please feel free to hit that subscribe button before we get started. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I remove my makeup. Now, just a disclaimer, okay? Some of these products may not work for you. Um, because we have different types of skin. Everybody has different types of skins. And um, you know, this is just what I do. Um, you may not use the same products, but you may use the steps, okay? When taking off makeup, you wanna make sure that you have a cleanser. Um, I don't use makeup wipes to remove my makeup, but I do use a cleanser. Um, and you wanna make sure that you have a scrub. Don't exfoliate every day, maybe two times a week. But when I do exfoliate, um, I use a scrub and then I use a cleansing, um, you know, like a cleansing, why am I like stuttering? <laughs> a cleanser to wash it all away, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step by step routine. You may, you know, use these or you may not, but either way, I'm just showing you guys how I do it, okay? Now I have here some pines. Um, the cold cream cleanser. It, this one is old, so I went and bought a new one, which is like a little bit less ounces than this one is. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be using this one first to remove my lashes. Um, because a lot of people have a, you know, ask questions like, how do I remove my lashes, yada, yada. But I just take some of my finger and just put it on my eyelids. Now that's a little too much. So I'm gonna kinda like use it on my face or whatever. So that way, you know, won't be wasting any products. Now, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and like rub it in. Now, this will not mess up your lashes whatsoever. It's just helping me remove them much easier. That came off like nothing. Um, and I'm just putting it right on the band and this one needs just a little bit more cream. So I'm gonna take some off my face and like get it off. Oh, that one. Uh oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that looks so funny. So I'm gonna take some cream. I don't want to snatch it off because I want to pull off any of my lashes. So I'm gonna put some cream on it, and it should come right off. So now I'm gonna take the rest of the pods. It's like the most hurtful thing about taking off my makeup is seeing how flaky my brows are and having to wash them away. But. That's okay, you know, I've had better makeup looks and I was just like, oh, I have to wash it away. <sighs> now I'm gonna look like a creep, um, a scary monster, whatever you wanna call it. Um, <laughs> I look like a straight honey bun. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna wash this off. like five of these they not that expensive so that's why I like you know use it just to get it off because you know I have plenty of these cotton rounds and I'll just use it just to wipe it off now I'm not going to wash it just yet I'm just gonna use this entire pad I said six why did I say six when I know I only use like two honestly so as you guys can see I just literally submerge this entire thing while makeup i'm going to use another one to take it off this is just easier for me instead of using like a wipe or whatever so now that that's off i'm going to go ahead and do the next step now uh i usually use biore but i don't have any more of it so i'm going to use my acura um a cure um if that's how you pronounce it uh it's like a, it's all natural um i'm i'm running low i got this in one of my ipsy subscriptions um and i'm like barely getting any out I'm about to cut it open so i just cut it open because it really wasn't that much left i've been like using this to capacity but it's so it's so good you know like you know you get that one product that you just really really love um, this retail for about $15 and this little bottle, like, um, sis, lower the price, okay? People like me can't afford that. Well, don't get me wrong, like, I can afford that, but like, this size, uh, no. 
I will not pay $15 for that size. Now, if it was like a regular size, like, you know, then okay, you know, I spend it, you know. But anyways, <laughs> it has like little, like seeds or whatever. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like little grains in it that's like basically scrubbing the makeup off. So now that that's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush. And it kinda got dyed from my little turmeric um, face mask. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> but um, it kinda got like a little dyed, but it still cleans from Gonna use it and I got this from Walmart for about five dollars I'm gonna go get another one they have this spin brush now it's five dollars as well and I'm gonna go ahead and snag it honey now lastly I have this soap it's turmeric and roses in here this is the rosebud right here um, and this is great for like clearing up my acne scars or whatever like thank God I have like just a few tiny bumps that's left over um, but other than that, like my acne scars are like clearing up by the day. So this is about day four of me using this soap. And um, I love it already. Like it's not that, you know, of course turmeric is good for clearing up acne scars and toning and stuff like that. Um, but just roses in it too. Oh yeah, I had to snag it. Um, I'll be sure to put the details of where I got this soap from. This guy, he makes um, all natural soaps and lotions and stuff like that. And um, they're amazing. So what I like to do is just like keep this on for about like five minutes tops. I don't want it to completely dry because um, that's just not what I like to do, especially like with soaps and stuff. So I'm just gonna let this dry for like a good five minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off. So by the way, I forgot to mention if you want to see how I accomplished the like makeup look before I washed it away, um, you can just like, you know, go back and look. But if you want to see how I did that look, I created that look on Facebook Live. Please feel free to comment that below. I will, you know, squeeze it in. Okay, so now that that is cleaned off, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the after cleanse. That's what I call it. And I'm going to be taking, I'm like pretty much done with this. I'm done. New Year, new products. <laughs> this Witch Hazel, um, T.N. Dickinson Witch Hazel. And I'm gonna be putting it on cotton round. It's pretty soaked. And I'm gonna wipe it, wipe my face with it. Taking my Tropic Sun Aloe Vera Gel. And I'm only gonna take like a Pea size, literally. I mean, a little goes a long way with this. Literally, dot, dot, dot. Take a little bit from my forehead, put it right there, because literally this stuff goes far. Pond's uh, Nourishing Moisturizer, as well as my Pond's uh, Color, like a corrector for dark spots. First, I'm gonna be taking my Color Correct and just put it like in the areas I feel, which is like my forehead, it's my problem area. Right here, I'm gonna stretch it across and right here. And then I'm going to rub that in. It's so creamy and it's super thick. It almost reminds me of the cleanser. Smells good too. That is the end of this skincare routine. Um nothing really else that I do that's different um, besides upgrading to the ponds, all ponds, 
Usually I would use oils, but I see that oils tend to clog my pores. Um, I'll probably use oils probably like once a week, not every day, but every day I will be using the pines just to moisturize and get my skin back, um, you know, even because it's always dry. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As always, please feel free to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.